Hello, you're watching Avenue X, where junkie and good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. This is a combination final review video of two Chinese dramas. And as you can see, I'm dressed up, so they are both period dramas. The other things they have in common are, first, both of them are super short dramas. Second, they got really popular while they were on air. Mango television, super short drama, Nian Nian Wu Ming, The Killer is also romantic, and the short video platform Kuai Shou aired drama, Zhang Gongzhu Zai Shang, Her Royal Highness. I'm putting these two together because both of them are really short and they have something in common representing a new trend of storytelling that you're seeing happening in Chinese drama land. Although neither of them really is the first of its kind in terms of being super short. But 2022 really is the year where such dramas start to get more and more attention. I wouldn't really use my usual seven level scale to score these two dramas just because it wouldn't be really 100% fair to compare them to proper big standard drama productions. I'll first talk about Nian Nian Wu Ming. The killer is romantic, just finished airing on Mango Television. It is really a film length story that got broken down into 18 different pieces. I haven't done this, but I'm actually curious to see if anybody downloaded the whole thing and then they take out the title and the ending song of each episode and join them together just physically like that. And then watch it from minute one to the last, what it will feel like. Whether it will feel like any other Wang Da, which is the Chinese word for internet movies that a lot of platforms have been doing for years. Usually these are the films that are super cheaply produced and then they literally sell the movies on those platforms and you pay five, six RMB to watch one. So the classic rule of that is to make the first five minutes really good. If I ever get that done, okay, I'll let people know what I feel. This super short drama is directed by Zeng Qingjie, who is a self-made creator who has already made a lot of short internet films little things. This is yet another of his work. Then this drama features the two leading actors, Hu Dandan and Yang Zhe. I've never heard of them, but they've done a very good job. As for the story, it's a really simple story. Set in a fictional period time, two people who have fallen in love and about to get married and got married, but then they both actually have a secret identity. So it's like the Mr. and Mrs. Smith in Chinese traditional time, as they're both actually secretly assassins. So the couple of things that this production did really well and made it rather successful, and I think as um, an investment probably got them a really good return. First, it has written a very clear structure. Get to the point, moment one, scene one, first second, you see these characters. For the audiences to immediately, just on our own, okay, fill up or the empty space and holes <laughs> that the story is not telling you. But just because of how familiar we are with this type of genre characters and where the story we can anticipate is going, they really make that very clear. The second thing is, although this you can tell it's a cheap production, but with what they're given, they used every trick and every classic techniques and every expectations that people would have with this type of thing and just did the best they can with it. So I think the director definitely is one of those super experienced people who knows exactly for a particular trope, for a particular scene, we will pick the utmost classic way of using the camera, using the framing, pacing, the editing, who says what, how they act within the frame, just to just do it in the most expected but comfortable and have been worked and tested over time will work way. We're gonna just film that scene with this type of knowledge. Audiences, if you've watched a lot of film and television, you would already know I want to see this kind of shot, that kind of shot, how they're gonna pace it, what they're gonna do, and this drama will deliver you exactly that. And they do it actually really well with their limited resources they have. Right on spot, right on spot, step after step after step. When you finish watching the whole thing, there hasn't really been any moment in this super tiny drama that made you feel it has disappointed you. And then moving to the third point is the two leads 
I wouldn't say they're the greatest actor and actresses out there, but they did such a good job and they're very well casted for their role. At a certain point of this narrative, where it needs to be just for five seconds, highly, highly emotional, they can manage to pull that five seconds out and make it work. And that's good enough. Then for the rest of doesn't need to be too mm, mm, well acted moments, they still do a good enough job. Although I wouldn't say I am in any way super in love with any of the characters or super impressed by the plot or any of that either. I'm satisfied and I'm happy enough and don't have problems with it. And because I've only invested so little time, I wouldn't feel I have been cheated, I have been wasting my time doing it and it's overall a very pleasant experience. So after watching The Killer is also romantic, I think the thing that actually makes me super excited is not the drama itself but the whole process and whole structure of how this type of drama can happen. You have this kind of small crew making a very kind of independent tiny thing that costs very little, doesn't feature any big major star, but they figure out what would be the thing that can basically get their cash back most. And then they just put their emphasis on making those particular aspects of this project good enough. I think they did something that has successfully got through the test of the market that it's actually viable to make this type of story and I really hope this could have encouraged other people who have similar abilities, resources on their hands. Now they see, oh, this is actually a route that we can go down and explore the possibilities. The grassroots stuff that start to show up due to technological advancement and how easily people can get hold of good enough stuff to make good enough stuff in the new day and age and age of Aquarius. That's what we're looking at for the next 200 years of human world. Never say never, maybe one day I can go and make something like that myself. Definitely a possibility. Current audiences, you're, you're gonna be my old, old fans who, who see the whole process of it happening. So these things that got me thinking are more exciting than the dramas themselves. Then for the even more webbish, short video platform-ish, less professional, but almost like more interesting. Zhang Gongzhu Zai Zhang, Her Royal Highness. The reason I say it's even more interesting is compared to Nian Nian Wu Min, the killer is also romantic, which still has the more like the traditional drama production makeup of the team, of how it's done, how it's put out, what platform puts it out. Her Royal Highness is really a very, very individual content creator stuff and it features what we call Wang Hong actors, which is internet celebrity. The director is one of those people. She's been making her own very short videos for a long time now and mostly period drama looking actors and actresses, but those people are also internet celebrities, internet influencers. And she made a lot of those small movies, two minutes, four minutes with a BGM, almost like a music video. And this is her official first time sort of collaboration with the short video platform, Kuai Shou, which you don't have an international version, but it's like another TikTok. So TikTok in China and Kuai Shou are in fierce competition. Kuai Shou in February put out this series of dramas that is made up with 26 episodes. Each episode is two minutes long, so you put it together, it's less than an hour long story. As you can tell from the Royal Highness title, it's talking about a princess. And more specifically, this princess is in charge of the politics of that kingdom because the young emperor is too young. And she comes across a bodyguard who gets sort of introduced to her world and who actually came in with a hidden motivation. But it's 50 minutes, so you are very soon gonna find out what that is and how they're gonna develop their relationship. And for this story, because it's only two minutes per episode, a lot of people take it as the poop drama, the loo drama, and just spend two minutes watching it every day drama. And as you can imagine, with this kind of setup of its structure and how it gets aired, it really has only the highlight points of a story. It's the bare bone of a structure of a story without any flesh, but they use everything they can use. Like I said, for the killer is also romantic. The camera language, the movement, the music, when the slow-mo comes in. And when they know, you know, this is the time when the audience want to watch, two people stare at each other super close and about to kiss and all that. So they push all those heightened moments to the absolute limit 
of how far it could go. Finding two good enough dubbers to dub the two leads, so to make it sound more professional and dramatic, and then just let it run. Every good thing that people discover about it that's a slightly better than their expectation becomes a much better experience because nobody expects great things from it. Therefore, it actually becomes much better. And it did a couple of things really well, such as finding the really good looking enough people okay, to play these roles and play them well enough so that they almost sometimes are better than those really crappy proper period dramas led by crappy idol actors who have a huge fandom and complains constantly about everything. If you're interested, I'll leave the link to the uh, creator of Her Royal Highness's official account on Bilibili where she has about a million followers and <laughs> she's made a lot of super tiny short videos. One of the most well-known ones before this drama was a video I think a lot of international people even, you've watched it, which is a short music video of two ladies. a story of a lady and a bunny like a white bunny that turned into a girl. If you have any vague impression of that, yeah, it's done by her. I wouldn't consider dramas such as Her Royal Highness is really a proper traditional visual narrative storytelling thing, but I'm very open to all kinds of new stuff that can be done these days because of the available resources to everyone. I like the outsider challengers who come in and stir the water up, get it muddy and say, yeah, we you know we're not making classic works and our stuff is by no means great, but there are people who like it and we do it with our passion because of it's 2022, because we live in this age of internet and social media, everything. Now it's possible. At least we can throw our stuff out there and see how many people like it want more of it. And I'm actually really happy to see people have overall very positive response to them. Don't think they're gonna change the big picture just by themselves, but I cannot wait for the future <laughs> in terms of more and more creators, different organizations, different individuals start to put their work out in ways we previously haven't imagined possible. It's always the person who is outside of the established traditions structure, bringing something that you don't see before and challenges it and becomes a wave of trend and then that thing gets established and becomes old and stale and then a new thing comes in and it keeps just changing and changing. Cool. <laughs> it, it just feels much more exciting than having so-called big productions that cost hundreds of millions made by supposedly professional people and then ended up being just expensive expensive piece of shit and crap. You know, I'd rather have diverse things from all kinds of people. They're made by people who actually love what they do. They have their own passion. It comes from a different energy source. <laughs> we have a very weird future <laughs> we're heading towards or it's heading towards us. Quickly mention something here not related to uh, this video, which is if you've watched my Tuesday video, you know I've launched something new. The new part of my shop that has a different entry from the usual entry point due to not ideal, let's say, back-end functions of Squarespace websites where they cannot do a lot of things. I apologize for the effort that you're gonna have to go through looking at all the instructions in terms of shipping, wait time, details, if you want a customization, how you contact me, just because that's the best way after I've try to figure out for half a year that I can think of with my logical analysis brain about how it can work. Right now, this is the best I can do. And if you have any questions about these products that I forgot to mention or haven't explained it clearly enough for you, just use that form at the end of every product page and I'll get an email and I'll contact you. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.